Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about dimension tables and I'll try to explain dimension tables with examples as we go along. So uh, a dimension table is a way of grouping facts by certain attributes. So for example, you're selling products and you own an e-commerce company. So sales amount could be a measure and a dimension table is a way of grouping facts by certain attributes. So let's just go onwards. A dimension provides labeling information for facts. So for example, you want to see sales amount by region. So region would be a, a part of a dimension table. It could be a dimension table with different attributes or it could be an attribute of the dimension table as well. It depends. And that you understand as you build more dimensions and gain more experience. Similarly, you want to see uh, how you've been selling by, uh, let's say, over the last 10 years to see a trend. So then time could be a dimension because it's helping you uh, digest your facts or measures Similarly, you might want to see how uh, you've done in 2020. So that could be one way. So then in that case, uh, time is again a dimension. Maybe we want to see uh, which product categories are selling the most. So then product categories label, which helps you identify your facts and how they're trending. So this, uh, all these examples would constitute dimensions. So as you can see, a dimension provides labeling information and it also helps you filter group and label data so you could filter by for example say i want to see the sales amount for 2020 or i want to see a uh, sales amount for all people based in maybe australia or uh, all people in europe or all people in america so you're basically grouping your sales by region or you're filtering your sales by region uh, similarly for product category as we've already discussed so example of dimension tables which then become very evident from our discussion above is product product category geography time customer and these could become your dimension table and they might have uh, attributes within them so just for the sake of example maybe uh, you've got time dimension and in that you could say date or any given day maybe is the lowest level of granularity or the le the lowest level of detail and then on top of it that you will have week month quarter half year and year so then you can uh, basically uh, have all these attributes as part of your time dimension or your date dimension so similarly for um, geography you could have city state zip code could be attributes of a uh, certain geography so uh, this is how you would start creating more and more dimension tables and because we're talking about attributes to a dimension table uh, what are what defines a good attribute for a dimension table so we'll quickly cover that as well so let's go to the next slide and attributes should be so before i start i'd like to give credit to wikipedia where i've got this definition and i found them fairly useful so uh, attributes should be verbose so which means label should be consisting of full words and that should make sense to uh, a human when they try to read it they should be self-descriptive again uh, they should make sense they should be complete there should be no missing values there should not be any nulls it's pretty hard so if maybe there is um, a region where the state is null when you're grouping you will have some values where you will have no idea where that how how that data is grouped and it could throw off your calculations so this has to be complete similarly um, uh, an attribute should have a, um, only one value per column it should not have multiple values so for example if i want to see uh, values by state you cannot have uh, maybe one thousand dollars belong to victoria as well as new south wales or maybe one thousand dollars belong to washington as well as maybe some other state so they should be discreetly valued and there should be quality assurance so there should not be any misspelling or impossible values that make it really hard to do any form of trend analysis or analysis on your fact data so this uh, so in this video we've essentially covered what's a dimension table how would you define a dimension table and then what are and the dimension table could have attributes and uh, what are the attribute how do you define a good attribute so I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.